What's up, YouTube? It's Kenny again. Sitting here in Wisconsin, <clears throat> out of hours. I won't be able to make it to my delivery tomorrow because I won't have enough hours. Uh, I thought I'd make a video. I, I know I haven't been making a lot of videos, but there's just not a lot to talk about, you know. Uh, the van has been at the shop. I told them to take their time. It was going to be 10 weeks till I came back. <clears throat> And they just kind of, they got most of the stuff done last week, and we determined we, that we want to go ahead and do a couple more things to it. Uh, and then it should be done by the end of the week, and my friends out in Denison will go pick it up for me. Uh, of course, I talked in, in the last video about the fact that uh, that Renogy DC to DC charger failed already so I ordered the Orion XS and that was quite some time ago and it's finally shipping out on Tuesday it's a brand new product on the market so they're just like shipping them as they roll in you know uh, had a little bit of a discussion with a person on a Facebook group who has one and they love it they said it's fantastic I expect nothing less from Vict Victron uh, I'm sure it's going to be a great product <clears throat> Renogy is all like cheap Chinese stuff that they just rebrand. Re so I'm not surprised it failed, but it was also like 150 bucks, and I paid like 325 for this Orion. Uh, but it'll be peace of mind. I expect for that unit to last for years and not have to mess with it. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little, uh, a little congested or something. Uh, so yeah, waiting on the van to get out, uh, waiting on that to show up, uh, what is it, today's, it, it's like less than a month, a little less than a month to home time, and I'm going to do about 9 or 10 days, uh, there's a party, probably going to take the time off starting at the with the party at the beginning, uh, just because I want to get that extra week out in that, uh, for saving. Uh, and then, so I haven't decided exactly what all I'm going to do this time. I, I think I'm going to first do the 12 volt stuff. So I want to go ahead and get the lights done and the 12 volt and the cigarette lighter plugs and stuff like that. And the, the fuse box and get that all wired up and figured out <clears throat> because I want the lights done before I do the windows. I think I'm going to do the windows as well. So I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to Plasti Dip. I'm going to get white Plasti Dip. And I'm going to Plasti Dip the two back windows on the inside. And also the two rear side windows on the inside. And then at least one of the double door windows. The one closest to the bed. So they're nice and blacked out. And then I've got uh, one inch uh, insulation. And I'm going to cut those and, and put them on the two big side windows. And I'm going to order a couple of tapestries. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use those two big side windows. I'm going to glue tapestries onto that insulation and put them in there. Uh, and so those two windows will be insulated. They'll have some decorative stuff on them. And uh, they'll be blacked out. And then the two back windows will be blacked out. <clears throat> I haven't exactly decided. I may do, uh, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, oh, I'm blanking. I always blank on, on it because I don't like it. It's the bubble wrap foil stuff. I may use that on the back windows. Uh, because... There's going to be a unit. I, I don't know how far I'm going to get on building it this time. I'm sure I will at least get started on it. Uh, the unit is going to be in the very back where the rear doors are. And it's going to have a platform where the EcoFlow Wave 2 air conditioner is going to sit on one side. And then I'm going to have a divider in the middle of it. And I'm going to have I'm going to do some kind of shelving type stuff in there so that I can get duffel bags for clothes and other stuff stored in there. Uh, I'm I'm tossing around the idea in my mind of putting something kind of toward the top of it so I can get at least one guitar in there. I'd like to get my electric or one of my electrics and one, and my main acoustic in the van and stored back there up out of the way. Uh, 
but that's the plan. So I'd like to, uh, I'm going to get as far as I can. I'd like to get at least get the lights and the 12 volt stuff in the back unit. I don't know if I'm going to get to the countertop and the, the other uh, unit where the side doors are. We'll just have to see how much I can get done, how quickly it, it ends up going. Um, so if you're new to the channel, guys, hit that subscribe button. Follow the Yellow Brick Road uh, because the van's going to be finished up. And I, I, I've been saying that because I'm excited, you know. It's going to be still. Uh, so this time I'll go in and I'll do what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to go back out on the road until August and in August we're having a big birthday party uh, it's gonna be my birthday which is my actual original uh, goal was to be done by my birthday and I decided to extend that goal to October so I'm gonna take two weeks off I'll have two weeks of vacation I'm gonna take two weeks off or the birthday party I'll finish just as much of the rest of the van as I can at that next trip I'm hoping I can get really close to being completely done with it. Worst case scenario, I'm, I'm done with everything except the stuff I got to do to the top of it. Uh, but I'd like to get the get at least get the fan in on the top and get the port drilled for the solar wires. The solar will be the last thing. Uh, and then after that two weeks, then I'll go back out <clears throat> September, October, and I'm probably just going to stay out until I quit my job, which would probably be two months, you know, it will be two months-ish, you know, nine weeks, something like that, and get the last of the savings in. And I'm hoping I can hit my goals by then. The goal is 16000 in, in savings on top of my $5,000 emergency fund. Uh, I'm at... 5,000 right now and I've still got you know what four or five weeks until four weeks I think until I go in for home time so that's another three grand I'll get in there uh, I think I'm gonna hit the goal I think we're gonna I think I think I'm gonna smash it and I'm gonna quit before Halloween right around Halloween before Halloween and then that's it guys and now I, you know I may spend a week or so at my friends once again to just complete anything else that's last minute needs to be completed and uh they love me so you know if i need to i can come back over there for a few days work on it some more and and get things sorted out over that first month or whatever when i quit uh and yeah it's on guys i'm i think i'm gonna have enough doing the math to stay off for eight months and I'm going to try to do at least two or three videos a week during that time period. Uh, I don't know that, that I'm going to be like doing enough to do one every day. I'm, I'm not the kind of guy who like wants to go hike and do stuff every day. You know what I mean? I'm just, that's not the kind of person I am. I'm going to kick back and relax. It's going to take me a couple of weeks just to reset and like get used to the idea that I don't have any place I've got to be. Uh, you probably noticed the hair. I'm considering maybe uh, growing, letting it start grow back, growing back out the uh, undercut, just because you know it's like twenty, twenty-five bucks or something every time I go to get it shaved, and I want to save that money. So I'm, I'm thinking about just, just letting it go and grow again. I was looking at it earlier, and it's got a lot of gray in it, and there's so much gray in my beard now. Most of this wasn't here five years ago when I came back on the road. I had a little bit of gray. Uh, yeah. About to turn 50, and uh, it's going it's going, to it's going be real. I'm going to take this time off. I'm going to be speaking at the nonprofit that I'm belong to and and doing some lecturing and and hosting some events and stuff like that during that time period i will at least go once or twice and take off for a couple of weeks but mostly i'm going to stay local and do city van life and i'll take you guys along for the ride hit that subscribe button for me like the video leave me a comment 
I mean, on the off chance that somehow people really enjoy the videos and it ends up kind of blowing up, I could take longer than eight months. And I've toyed with the idea of getting a little part-time job to extend it further, but I just don't know if I want to do that. I, I think I want to take my time off, do my thing, and then I'll come back to work, save again. And if I enjoy it as much as I think I'm going to enjoy it, then from there, we'll think about uh, extending it, staying out longer, maybe getting a part-time job and see what happens. But uh, I kind of like the idea of taking off like fall, winter, spring, and then going back to work in the summer every year. You know, I go to work for four months in the summer, save, you know, 10, 12 grand and then do something the rest of the year where I could be local. Uh, I don't know. It's just spitballing at this point. But hit that subscribe button, guys. Like the video. I appreciate y'all sticking with me. And it's on. Uh, you know, it's still on. I'm just out on the road. I'm in Wisconsin in the truck. And there's just not a whole lot to tell. You know what I mean? So uh, just wait. Because I'm going to be in the van in six months. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. See you on the next one.